What are the conditions of wudu? So the conditions of wudu are firstly a person being upon Islam and a person having sanity and also mental maturity by which a person is able to differentiate between different matters. So when it comes to wudu, puberty is not a condition for the validity of wudu. Rather it is mental maturity. And so many translators, they make a mistake when they translate tamyiz as being puberty. It is not puberty. And also from the conditions of wudu is niyya and its place is in the heart and to verbalize that niyya is an innovation. And the niyya of wudu has to remain throughout all the wudu. It's now, not correct for between the, in the process of wudu, a person leaves the intention. And also the seizing or the stoppage of that which invalidates wudu, meaning if a person is passing wind, he cannot make wudu. Rather, he has to wait until he has finished and then he begins to make wudu. And also, if that which necessitated or that which invalidated wudu requires istinja or istijmar. For example, if a person was in the toilet and he was urinating, before he makes wudu, he has to wash himself through istinja or istijmar. And also from the conditions of wudu is that the water has to be pure and the water has to have been obtained legally. So a person cannot make wudu with water which is impure and neither can a person steal water to make wudu. And also from the conditions of wudu is removing anything which prevents water from touching the skin. For example, if a person is painting or if there's a person and that person has dough on their hands, firstly that has to be removed because that prevents water from reach reaching the skin. Once that has been removed, then he performs wudu. So the point is that anything which prevents water from reaching the skin, then that has to be removed. Like for example, uh, nail varnish. If it prevents water from reaching the nails, then it has to be removed first.